Matthew chapter 7 Do not judge. Refuse to be a critic of all bias towards others, and you will not be judged. For you will be judged by the same standard that you use to judge others. And the measurement that you use on them will be used on you. Why would you focus on the flaw in someone else's life? and fail to notice the the glaring flaws of your own. How could you say to your friend, let me show you where you are wrong, then you are guilty for even more. You're being hypocritical and a hypocrite. First acknowledge and deal with your own blind spots, and then you'll be capable of dealing with the blind spots of your friends. Who would have hung earrings on the dog's ear or throw pearls in front of the wild pigs. They only tremble the mound under their feet and then turn around and tear you to pieces. Ask, and the gift is yours. Seek, and you will discover. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For every persistent one will get what he asks for. Every persistent seeker will discover what he longs for. And a one who knocks persistently will one day find an open door. Do you know of any parent who would give his hungry child who asks for food, a plate of rocks instead? Or would ask for a piece of fish, what parent would offer his child a snake instead? If you, imperfect as you are, know how to lovely, Lovingly take care of your children and give them what's best. How much more ready is your heavenly Father to give wonderful gifts to those who ask Him? The golden rule. In everything you do, be careful to treat others in the same way you don't want them to treat you. For that's the essence of all the teachings of the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate. Because the wide gate is a broad path of the way that leads to destruction. Nearly everyone chooses a crowded road. The narrow gate and the difficult way leads to eternal life. So few even found it. False prophets. Constantly be on your guard against phony prophets. They can't distinguish uh, the calm disguise and the lands appearing to be genuine, but on the inside, they're like a wild, rarish wolves. You can spot them by their actions, for the fruits of the character will be obvious. You won't find the sweet grapes hung on a thorn bush, and you will never pick good fruits from a, a tumbleweed. So, if the true, if the tree is good, it will produce good fruit. But if the tree is banned, it will bear every rotten fruit observed to be and deserve to be cut down and burned. You will know them by the obvious fruit of their lies and ministries. This is a warn of a pretenders. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into heaven's kingdom. It were only those who persist in doing the will of my heavenly Father. On the day of judgment, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, don't you remember us? Did not we prophesy in your name? Did not we cast out demons and do many miracles in your name? What I will have to say to you, uh, to them, go away from me, you lawless rebels. I've never been drawn to you. Everyone who hears my teaching and applies it to his life can be compared to a wise man who built his house on a shakable foundation. When the rain fell and the flood came, with a fierce wind beating upon his house, he stood firm because it's a strong foundation. But everyone who hears my teaching and does not apply to his life will be compared to a foolish man who built his house on sand. When it rains, and rained, and the flood came, with the wind, the waves beating upon his house, it collapsed and was swept away. By the time Jesus finished speaking, 
the crowds were all struck by his teaching, because his words carried such great authority, quite unlike the religious scholars.